Bayern. Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about. Whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. So make it a great night, folks. Halfway through May, pretty amazing. Love coming out of you makes you happy. The whole world can love you, but that's not the love that will make you happy. What will make you happy is to share the love you have inside of you. That is the love that will make the difference. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 26, NASDAQ's up 69, S&P's are up 9.5, gold contract. How do I do this? Yeah, gold contract flat, 2019 an ounce, silver up 9 cents, 20, 20, $24.25 an ounce, light sweet crude. Dow up 99 cents at $71. A barrel, notes and bonds. 10-year note, down six ticks, trading 115.08. The 30-year off 30 ticks, almost one full point at 129.25 and King Dollar. King Dollar is down 243 ticks, trading at 102.438. The Euro is at 108. The Yen is at 136. And the British Pound is at 125 to 1 U.S. dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. Well, if we go to the SPY first, you know, you get a slow day out here. Um, you know, the volatility is dying in spades. Uh, there's no doubt about that, man. I mean, you can see this. We've been going sideways now for three, six, one, three. Yeah, se the seven trading days. You could actually more than that. But I mean strictly sideways. Your volume's coming down. 38 million shares out here today. If we get into the E-mini, we take a look at the E-mini, this is where there's going to be a heads up coming into the close out here. Because of the fact, when I just did that update, you know, what you do have is that, you know, you got a, this little blurp down the last time we were down there. Doesn't have a lot of volume, but at the highs, what you do have is that we, it's going into how we went to the downdraft on Friday. So if it does get up there, I expect that sell is going to be right there and slam the S&Ps once again. Because that's what you had out here this morning. Right. And it's the, it's the same number. You know, bottom line is that on Friday, that sell had done. Well, I don't Not that sell is not more. There could be more than one. Sixty five thousand contracts. And we went up there and tested it this uh, this afternoon with. Uh, yeah. With twenty nine thousand. We go into the NQs. The NQ is, a, you know, th there is divergence here. There's no doubt divergence. But the NQs are given a little clearer picture, meaning that I suspect that it's actually, we are going to get just a little, a small pullback. And, and, it, and what happens here, folks, if that's what we get, you still have a sideways move. It doesn't mean a thing. That's, that's all we've done out here today is a sideways move. So if you take a look at it, you're going to see that you had a little heavier blurb inside the NQs, meaning we came down there at that uh, 1340 p.m. today, we had uh, contract volumes of uh, 10,000. And all of these numbers up here, they're hitting... 8,500, 5,900, 5,900. There's just not enough juice up at that level. We go into the gold contract. We take a look at the gold contract. Gold contract out here is trading out at flat, flat market, sideways market. 155,000 contracts. That's still in a consolidation. We go into the bonds, the note and bonds. The difference in the note and bonds, it, my take is that we're not only want higher price, lower yield. Yeah, but you can see today, every time we get down, folks, look at the contraction of volume here. You're down six ticks. The contraction of volume is 94,000 contracts. That's a monster contraction of volume. You've been going higher with 1.6, 2 million contracts up at these highs. My take is that we're probably developing a large ABC structure on the way up. And here we go. It's going to be up about this U.S. dollar. If we take a look at the dollar, what you see with the dollar is that it finally got off its lows last week, you know, and that's a, lot, that's a long consolidation. It's, a, it's above it now. When I take a long consolidation, we're talking about that goes all the way back to um, April 4th. You know, it got above it, so my take is that we want to go to this 106. Now, if that's what we get, I want to show you something. When I just did the gold report this morning, so if any of you folks that are in these gold equities, it's a time to be... Very careful, 
because I suspect what's going to happen here is this. Let me show you this in the XAU and the HUI, because this looks to me like it's going to be quite a pullback, and this is why. You see the, like, the XAU is at 134. Well, last time with volume on the way up is 125. So that would be saying that you're actually going to break the, the consolidation that we've been in going all the way back to the beginning of April. You know, we'll see where it shakes out, but that's where, my, that's where I'm going because if the, and the HUI has the same setup. And what, in this, what this does happen is this, folks. This is how deviant markets are in general. If that's what we get, you know, my, my larger take is that, yes, the gold and silver market's still going higher, gold's going higher, all of the above, the dollar's going lower. That being said, the bottom line is that this could be just the last downdraft before it just starts all over again and explodes topside. Because most times, if you get in a large move, that's what markets like to do. And in the HUI, that number is 244, and right now you're at 270. Because you can see what happened. We actually did get an expansion of volume last Thursday on the way down. You are going, well, I, I don't have today's value yet, but I suspect what you're going to have on today's is that you're going to have a higher high, today's volume, and you're going to have a big contraction of volume as we move to higher price. Some of the higher volume equities out here today, and it's going to be a big low volume market out here. Whoops, one second, S&P, no, S&P, one second, S&P, most. Get the S&P in there, SPX, there we go. Whoa, why is that doing? You have uh, Tesla's uh, down two dollars. We have Wells Fargo up a buck thirty-nine. Nvidia's up. Look at that thing up five thirty-five. Five thirty-five. Facebook's up uh, five twenty-five. Micron Tech's up three forty. You have uh, Marbell flat. We have uh, Charles Schwab up two thirty-four. Stay right there, folks. We're coming back with our man, Mr. Steve Rhodes. Recap what's going on out here right now. We have the Dow Industrials trading up 27, Nasdaq up 69, S&P's up 9.5. We're coming right back.